Barrett's esophagus. It's a thing that people are hearing more and more about. And let me explain first what it is. The stomach starts to make acid. And so from the top of the stomach south all the way to the end of the colon, it's going to be strong acid to weak acid. From the top of the stomach north up through the mouth, through the sinuses, eustachian tube is going to be neutral to slightly alkaline because of your saliva. There is a gene, it's called COX-2, which will turn those stem cells forever to either columnar cells that line the lower part or squamous cells that line the top. The difference is the columnar cells have mucus glands. There are animal studies now that clearly show that strong acid up the esophagus does not cause Barrett's. Strong acid in bile up the esophagus does not cause Barrett's. Weak acid in bile up the esophagus, if you follow that lab animal long enough, always causes bears and ultimately cancer. As a public, perceiving that the antacids are helping me and helping prevent me getting bears or cancer, when actually it's, it's 180 degrees from that. Now the risk of bears is that it can turn into cancer. Usually doesn't, that's the good news. But if it does, it's a real problem. Males have nine times more adenocarcinoma than females. So if you're a male, you're at higher risk than the female. Basically, I recommend consideration for a reflux operation with everybody that has bears. It means you've had reflux for 12 to 15 years. And usually, if you really are honest, you're not very happy with the medical therapy. So I discuss reflux surgery with everybody that has bears. Why? Well, it's like stopping smoking. Doesn't turn the risk of the zero, but it dramatically reduces the risk of cancer forming in that.